10, 9, 8, 7, 6. The I invoke the boundless one, the he that did create the earth and the heavens, the he that did create the night and the day, the he that did create the darkness and the light, thou art a soul the fair, whom no man has seen at any time. Thou art Yabez, thou art Yapophraz, thou hast distinguished between the just and the unjust. Thou didst make the female, female and the male. Thou didst produce the seeds and the fruit. Thou didst form men to love one another and to hate one another. I am Afna Konsu. Should have told him that. <laughs> Should have told him that. What? Ten. Nine. <coughs> eight. Seven. Six. Thee I invoke, the bornless one, thee that didst create the earth and the heavens. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Thee I invoke, the bornless one, thee that didst create the earth and the heavens, thee that didst create the night and the day, thee that didst create the darkness and the light. Help us, help us. Oh my God. We can't even get past the first one. Yeah, well, I think we're going to have to wait. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, and we'll start that kind again. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. <laughs> Would you start again? <laughs> right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Thee I invoke, the, the bornless one, thee that didst create the earth. Well done, well done. That's good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. The I invoke the <laughs> the you do. I was going four, three, two, one because I clocked up the five. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. <laughs> Hear me, 
hear me and make all spirits subject unto me, so that every spirit of the firmament and of the ether, upon the earth and under the earth, on dry land and in the water, of hurling air and of rushing fire, and every spell and spirit of God may be obedient unto me. Hear me, aft, male, female spirits, abaft, male, female sires, pass on, ye that are gods, going forth, uttering on. Usak, identical point, sabah, new, hadith, rahu, cute, hail, great wild beast, hail, eio. This is the Lord of the gods. This is the Lord of the universe. This is he of whom the winds fear. This is he who, having made voice by his commandment, is Lord of all things, king, ruler, and helper. Hear me, and make all spirits subject unto me, so that every spirit of the firmament and of the ether, upon the earth and under the earth, on dry land and in the water, of whirling air and of rushing fire, and of his spare and scourge of God may be obedient unto me. Hear me, Eeeu, indwelling son of myself, her, thy fire, thy sixfold star and the shaker, compassed about with force and fire. Eeeu, indwelling soul of myself, her, Yeah, son of blind serpent, heal, all heal, thy great wild beast, thou Eio. Eio, breath of my soul, breath of my angel. Eio, lust of my soul, lust of my angel. Abrasax, Sabrion, hold of the sangro, hold for the cup of Babylon. Oh, for my angel pouring himself forth within my soul. Ooh, the eye, Satan, my lord, the lust of the goat. Bah, mine angel, mine initiator, thy one with me, the sixfold star. Adonai, my, my lord, my secret self be on self. Hadith, all father, heal. On thy, thy son, thy life of man, thy fivefold sword of flame, thy goat exalted upon earth in lust, thy, thy snake extended upon earth in life, spirit most holy, seed most wise, innocent babe, inviolate maid, begetter of being, soul of all souls, word of all words, come forth most hidden light. A day, devour thy me. A do, thou dost devour me. Angelus Pontheon, thy angel of the gods. And Lala, arise thou in me, free flowing, thou who art not, who art not, and utter thy word. Lai, I also am not. I will thee, I behold thee, my nothingness. Gaia, Leap up, thy earth. Aepe, thy exalted one. It leaps up, it leaps forth. Dea Tharna Tharon. Lo, the outsplashing of the seeds of immortality. I am he, the born of the spirit, having sight in the feet, strong and the immortal fire. I am he, the truth. I am he who hid that evil should be wrought in the world. I am he that lighteneth and thundereth. I am he from whom is the shower of the life of earth. I am he whose mouth ever flameth. I am he the begetter and manifester unto the light. I am he the grace of the world. The heart girt with the serpent is my name. Come here forth and follow me, and make all spirits subject unto me, so that every spirit of the firmament and of the ether, upon the earth and under the earth, on dry land or in the water, of burning air or of rushing fire, 
and every spell and scourge of God may be revealed unto me. Yasaba, such are the words. <laughs> never seen an emptier pool, not as black or as void of movement. It's empty, and there are fish in it. Damn gaping fish that I just don't understand at all. Where the hell do they come from? What are fat-mouthing fish doing in my void? So I wind the core flying onto my reel and check its passage through the metal hooks on the length of the rod. A thin gut holes a hook, dull grey metal. I can't think of any bait to hang out for these fish, so I lower the naked barb into the darkness. Papa, I think I've got one. A big eyed fat flatty fish. Papa, its mouth is bleeding. I don't think I like this. Papa, its eyes are on me, like clutching painful guilt. Papa, its gills are foaming. I can't take any more of it. Papa, the fish is talking now, saying things I can't understand. Papa, it's making me dizzy and its blood is on my hand. Papa, I'm throwing it back in the pool, but I can't let go of my grip. Papa, it's taking me with it. In the pit, in the pit, in the pit. Must have been wrong. Must have been wrong. You'll forget me and you won't write me letters anymore. Perhaps you'll wonder why there's no knife marks on the door. You never think of me. Or perhaps you'll spill a glass of liquid on the polished surfaces of your study and for an instant laugh at your anger at yourself. A vague shadow of another time, another rage, and another tiny liquid accident. You might see my type milling through the cloud, crowds, crowds, in the bakery. A thin man, a fox, an earth man, a double take would be unwise. Something else excluded from your adequate existence. I told you all you know about potato bread. Credit lost. You ask for potato bread because you know you like it. A lot to say. No way to put it down, though. I'll be walking on pin tips and bare feet, eating whole food sandwiches and growing older by the bite. One moment I could turn a miracle, the next my boots are held by clawing mud. There isn't time, there is never time, not all the time in my world to work it out and make it work. Tied by lines from my arse to the earth. Were it all clean and empty, I could take that risk and make the geometry a physical truth. And as I stood alone and attacked in the centre, wouldn't I have to part the darkness and step away? So this is my fate. God's lonely man. The more space you get, man, the less likely it is to be filled. You know what I mean? Life's so fast, every second's filled. We're paddling in intellectual shallows here. Snap sight and instant visions. Punch, punch, punch. The subtleties of the shadows that swept aside as we pull it all in quick and easy. Not that we aren't talking about the right things, but we're forgetting so much. Stuff that's bigger than we conceive. 
secrets that shouldn't be secrets because they cut through the secrets we think we're uncovering. It's a silly reversed situation. Our knowledge covers up what we want to, to know, and the more we learn in our clever way, the less likely we are to find the other things, the subtleties of the shadows cast by the conditioning of discovery. It's a sham we create. We really think we free ourselves while all the time we dig a deeper hole. And next morning, grunts from the children remind us of the world at work. Narrowing our directions, we empty emotions on plastic substance. Skies ablaze with sun that catches the outline of birds against the window. The curtains, a fabric, stainer, glass, mosaic. And what of love? Where do we find love in our mornings? For tired bodies to respond to anything but an idea of love is a tragedy of trying. Somewhere in retarded corners, a mechanism atrophies. Its function all but forgotten, its impulse dormant. One day a stirring, one day a small contraction, a flexing movement, then silence. Is it screwing you want? Deep somewhere, aimless strength seduced fiber and flesh, stiffened members, forced tears and membrane, member membrane, I remember membrane, thin stick apart from meat with a rustling sound. Dry membrane, transparent with blotches of opacity. But let us see three parts only. Why don't you just fuck? Ah! Celestial goddess, your intellect goes on. Uh-huh, honey. All right. Oh, my friend, all about
Oh, 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 I went to a meat processing factory. I refer to the complaints you made on the first floor about the actions of members of this force. Yes, I did. So Aileen had also complained about the way the police had treated her. And do you know what? She withdrew this complaint too. They get about five hundred times a full investigation and a report will be forwarded to the police for further investigations. In due course. The one end so this of letter what confirmed the process that they had and retracted her complaints going. against the police and against and the Saudi Arabia. And they're all put in the pen and they're let out one by one. But to her close and then one by one, she continued to claim that the raid was true. They were executed. And they had. Yes. The yes. Aileen Farrell was found dead here and in stunned. the bedroom of her home. At the inquest, yes, the verdict of suicide was returned. The and the then they get a wire put round their leg, one of their back and legs, and they're hoisted up on a big reel. The big reel pulls them along. Yes, it does. It pulls them along. And they go along this reel, and then they come to a man who's got a big knife. And the man with the knife pokes his knife into their throat and kills them. And they kick and they jerk and all the blood pours out of their throat and they go along this wee corridor and all the blood pours out of yes. Following and all dribbles down their throats, throat, kicking and jerking, and there's all sorts of nervous reactions. And they go along this corridor, and whenever they get to the end of this corridor, very few of them are kicking down their throat, and there's blood coming out. And they go around the corner, still on this big wheel thing, big winch, and a big winch. Along, the show, but no statements were taken and then it gets the to the end of a big, big trough, it's about 25 feet long, even though they yes. have evidence. and it's full of boiling the young water, next door to Aileen and there's a conveyor belt in the bottom of it, Aileen hadn't yet come home, and the, the neighbour on the other side was on holiday, lower and the old lady at the end of this, this still away. big trough, we asked her and if she'd heard some men take the wire off their leg, and push the pigs into the big trough. And they go all along, about 25 feet underneath this boiling hot water. And all the dirt and all the hairs in their bodies, that all gets, all get, it gets all washed off and it's very, very, very hot. And they come out and they're all white and pink and floppy. And they've got big red marks that they have on their legs, and every time they turn over and around them, the mark gets cleaned and it starts getting redder and then it gets cleaned and then it gets redder and then they're fed and oh no, no, this is the interesting bit, two of them at a time are fed into this big machine and the big machine, it throws them up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and round 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 Even after Ellen's death? Yes. Yes. And you know why it does that? It's to get all, all some, some more of the, the hair and the dirt and all. And up and round, round, down, 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 and flopping all over the place. And it looks as if they're alive, but they're not. They're just being flopped around and flopped around. And the noise and all the compressed air is terrible. Really terrible. Yes. All the noise is really terrible. And then they go out the other end of that and they fall onto a big sort of table thing. And these men get a knife and they get their back back legs and they poke holes in between the tendons and the blood in their back legs and they put a big metal bar through both their back legs and then they hook the metal bar onto um, onto a big 
so any symptoms to real thing, another real thing, and, and they're, they're hoisted up, and they go along in this real thing. When I saw yes, they go along the real thing, and you know what they go, they go to next? It's like a big mold, like a big sandwich. And they go in between this big sandwich which has a fire at the bottom. And the fire, they're hanging upside down so they are with their legs up in the air and down and their head wobbling around and all the rest of it. And they're bumping into each other. And one at a time they go into this big metal sandwich with a fire in the bottom. And as soon as they go in, the fire goes, and it just shoots up and up and, and the, the big sandwich closes in all around them and the heat just goes and gas fires through it and then they come